Hey guys, so the old UPS just dropped off my front winter grill cover, which I have really needed this year. It's been minus 20 to 40 some days, and I just can't get any heat out of this truck. So it'll be nice to have that. I'm just curious if any, uh, any of you other guys have experienced that. When it's that cold, you just can't get any heat out of it. But either way, we're going to install this um, bra, or you can call it a man's ear. I prefer man's ear over bra, but uh, today we're going to call it a winter grill cover. So we're going to start with taking out four screws on the top of the grill, and then we'll go to the bottom side. This is an 05 F250, and I'm not sure if yours will be the same, but these bolts are the ever so popular 5.5 mil. Alright, so we go on to the bottom now because of the aftermarket grill and bumper I don't have room like the stock ones to get at the bottom clips so I'm just gonna pull the grill cover back and you can see the clips in there let's see if I can grab that if I can catch this. Let's see if the camera can see this, but there's a, a clip right here and basically you just push down on the top of it if this is the way you want to do it. And they pop right out just like that. One in the center here. And two more. Now all the clips are out and with a good little tug it should pop right out. There we go. That's it. We have one Ford grill cover out. I'm going to take it inside, uh, warm it up, and install the winter grill cover. All right, so here's my winter grill cover for the 05 to 07 series Super Duty. Now, I ordered this online from GoFia. And uh, it also comes with a summer grill, which I'm not too concerned about. But uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like. Alright, here's our summer bug screen. Which we will not be using right now. They advertise that it comes with uh, stick-on snaps, which I won't be using. Um, it just gets way too cold here, so we won't be using those. However, we will be using these. I am going to drill it, or drill the snaps right into the grill, then I won't have to worry about it coming off ever. And it comes with a great little set of instructions. Just gave the old grill a quick rinse. It was full of salt. Now, I'm going to try and fit this cover over top. I guess we'll do our best to stretch it out. Um, looks like it's pretty much flush with the bottom here. On the sides, it pretty much goes right to the end. Same with the top. It's Pretty much flush there and same on this side I guess I mean it, maybe never get it perfect I don't know but that looks good to me so I'm just gonna go ahead have a little drill bit here I don't know what size it is um, size doesn't really matter right it's just a little smaller than the screw I'm using to put the snaps in but I'll use this uh, little drill bit to just mark the center of each each uh, snap here and so I know where to drill it Now we're 
going to start drilling. Alright, that's our holes drilled. Now it's time to install the hardware. So for putting these screws in, I'm just going to put them in by hand. And uh, of course, don't forget to put your snap on first. Just like that. There we have it. All of our snaps are installed. And uh, they went in pretty good. Nice and tight. So now the moment of truth. Fitting this cover on. That is perfect. So there you have it. That is the quickest and easiest way to install it. You could do it on the truck, but then it might be harder to line up on your own where the uh, snaps go but of course it's got the flaps here so you can open up the grill on a warmer day or if you're towing something but I cannot wait to use this because I have been freezing my butt off in there and just draping a plastic bag over the front for now to get heat in there and this is going to work out awesome so let's head outside and reinstall this. All right, we got our grill on. I'm just going to leave it on to put it back in. So putting it back on is just basically the opposite of the way we took it off. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll just start with the clips here on the bottom first. All right, all five just clicked in. That's good. I thought I might have had to reach in there and push them in. Now we'll just put these bolts in here in the top. We've got our bolts back in and that is it. Literally, from start to finish, uh, is about half an hour, I guess. Uh, the easiest part is probably taking out the grill. I brought it inside, washed it. Uh, installing the snaps on the cover was 20 minutes. Real easy, real fast. I can't believe I didn't get one sooner, but uh, I, I do hope it works and I can't see why not. So there you have it. That's all there is to it. If this is uh, something you're thinking of doing, I have a feeling it's gonna be well worth it. And that's it. We'll see you guys soon with another little project.